and uh, knew what I saw when I saw it. What you're looking at right now is actually National Weather Service uh, radar, Doppler radars, picking up on the uh, plume of the shuttle as it was moving to the uh, east-southeast. So that line that you see on your screen there from just south of Tyler on through uh, the Toledo Bend area is actually the plume of uh, the space shuttle, and probably we're shooting that at about 20,000 feet. I want to make clear, because uh, I in no way want to confuse our viewers, what you are looking at, what you looked at there at the end, is a satellite photo uh, taken for meteorological purposes primarily. That was a satellite photo. Couldn't tell much, but you could, uh, it, for those of you who are acquainted with space uh, flight, could see the indication the shuttle was breaking up. Now, I'm told that uh, Rob Brillo has his own uh, video, which we're, this is the uh, meteorological shot, if you will. Right. Uh, and these but, Rob, you, you have some video of your own, which you're trying to get to us, and we look forward to seeing. Yeah, I, I pretty much, from my angle, saw uh, a singular uh, system coming in and then uh, moving into uh, multiple projectiles uh, pretty much coming at us. And again, these are NASA, that's the... That video right there is what I saw, again, coming at us. We see it about 100 miles away when it's crossing the Texas-Louisiana border. And uh, again, uh, I saw uh, that particular shot. I saw the multiple uh, uh, projectiles spreading out in a, in a manner that was uh, quite random. And uh, then what I went ahead and sent to uh, one of your directors was the uh, National Weather Service uh, radar site that we just showed and uh, the Doppler radar is actually picking up on that smoke plume that you see right there. Uh, that's the smoke plume and that's the direction that uh, more than likely uh, the debris would be falling in across southeast Texas, perhaps into western Louisiana. And as you mentioned earlier, Dan, a very thick area, very woodsy area, a lot of uh, evergreens in that area, so maybe some time before uh, uh, debris is uh, completely discovered. Rob, as, as, as we await your video, this is Russ Mitchell, by the way, Rob, as we await your, your video, what can we expect to see on that? What did you see through the lens? Well, I, I, you know, it's unfortunately, uh, I'm an amateur videographer, uh, so uh, it wasn't the best video in the world, but nonetheless, it, it did indicate uh, a singular uh, plume and then uh, multiple uh, plumes and, and, of course, fireballs heading in different directions. And, in fact, I did see a little bit of a turn to the northeast on the plume, and I did hear one viewer talk about that as well. A viewer from uh, uh, northeast Texas also described that. So uh, some of it seemed to take a sharp left turn off or uh, turn to the north and east. Uh, right at the end of uh, when we saw this thing breaking up. A uh, little bit past this point, this is where I picked up uh, watching it, and, uh, and then uh, as we uh, got in a little bit closer, this is what I saw, and that turn again a little bit off to the east-northeast. There you, again you see on the uh, National Weather Service radars, in fact, we've confirmed this on not only the Lake Charles radar, but also Shreveport, Fort Polk, and, and Dallas, the same plume. And uh, in all likelihood, that is the plume of uh, the debris plume and uh, the vapor plume uh, left from the shuttle. Rob, uh, Dan, rather, uh, from, from this satellite picture uh, superimposed over a map, all you can do is use your knowledge and give a, a, a knowledgeable opinion from this, it would appear most of the debris is going to be over, you say, the Toledo Bend area of southeast Texas? Yeah, I would say uh, draw a straight line right along that. Uh, we are picking up on those Doppler radars uh, winds at about 20 or 25,000 feet. So uh, that's pretty much the line that the shuttle was coming in. And, and uh, since, uh, from what I'm hearing with respect to some of the debris discoveries right now, I would uh, estimate that the bulk of the debris would be in eastern Texas and perhaps streaming into western Louisiana across, uh, say, Vernon Parish. Uh, kind of tough to tell when you get projectiles that are moving at five or 8,000 miles an hour how quickly and, and where they're going to land. But nonetheless, we you know, confirm from what we see on the video uh, that we see on the, also the Weather Service radars that, uh, again, your, your plume and your debris plume uh, may be across that part of eastern Texas into western Louisiana. Rob Brillo, thank you very much. We're going to put up the picture again of the shuttle crew.